Hey Libra, what's up you guys? Welcome to Black and Diamond HP. Happy Halloween weekend. You know, you guys, I am ready to see the babies, right? The little cute babies in the little cute costumes and stuff with their little feet out. Oh, I can't wait to see what my nieces and nephews gonna be dressed like, so. Yeah, either way you guys, let's go ahead and get in your message. I'm gonna start with some, um, my love oracles, my um, Black Madonna HP table etiquette, love oracles. That's a mouthful. I should have thought about it, but you know, <laughs> you know, Libra. Either way, let's see what your person is feeling about you, Libra, and go from there. Beloved, what's going on with Libra's person? How's Libra person feeling about Libra, please? How is Libra's person feeling about Libra? They got something to say, that's for sure, Libra. They anxious. <laughs> anxious, Libra. I don't know what's up with Beloved and songs. Like, every time I say something, a song pops up. Like, mm. One more, please. Oh, my goodness. Virgo had this at the bottom of the deck, too. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh my goodness. These people do not want me to talk between Virgo reading and your reading. These people do not want it to be told because what I'm finna tell you, Libra. <laughs> what I'm finna tell you, okay? First off, they only love you. They don't love whoever this other energy is, okay? I'm feeling like this is you. Oh, here they go. I don't know why my throat chakra is being messed with. Okay, you and the other person. They could be a Scorpio, but I got a strong inkling that this other person, whether you know it or not, is a, is a Scorpio, this karmic partner that's involved here. But they're saying they didn't love them. They only love you. That's what they say, Libra. <laughs> But, you know, it bothers me. I got, you know, it's a pretty full deck, right? Why are they coming out with sexual energy? I have been craving sex with you. Okay, why not, you know, anything else like, you know, I pick up the phone to call you, but I hang up or, you know, I've been researching Twin Flames or something like that. Why the sex energy? Hmm. Let's go ahead and get into your reading. I feel like using a different deck for your reading, Libra. So let's use these ones. Beloved, how's this person feeling about Libra, please? There's definitely a third party here, unfortunately. But they're talking about they didn't love them. They only love you. And I have been craving sex with you. So you're like an appetizer. Ooh, I did not meant to say mean to say that. A appetizer. So who's the full course meal then? Man, let's get into this reading. See what the hell is going on with your person, Libra. Because I see it's going to be one of those readings today. Beloved, what's going on with Libras, please? What's the energy you have for Libras, please? I'm going with it. What's the energy for Libra and their person? Ooh. Ooh, Libra. Beloved is coming through and confirming it. The Beloved is confirming like crazy. First off, the Three of Pentacles is at the bottom, right? But then this hair fin has two fingers up. Like, they got two. Two. So one of them, and then what he's pointing to is the X. Right? So there's an X here. Someone's X is still in the picture. Ooh. Let's see here. Two of Wands. Queen of Pentacles. Eight of Swords. Queen of Swords. That's, I had to slide you on in there, Libra. Nine of Pentacles. Okay. The Magician, El Diablo, 
the Three of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, the Six of Cups, and the Odd Man Out. Strength. Now, I can't help it. But Libra, who lap are you sitting on? This your person? This is how they look in the in in the uh, spiritual realm right now. You are um, like a comfort to them, right? Um, this person has like demons that they battle with, right? They got their own demons that they gotta deal with. I don't feel like your person has done the work, Libra. I feel like they feed a lot off of your energy and what you kind of bring to them um, to the table and stuff. You are a place of comfort and solace for this person. This person has something within them they feel like is uncontrollable. But something about you gives them some type of control. I don't know if they got a problem with um, sex or something. Like they always need to have multiple partners because they like got a sex addiction or some type of addiction or whatever. But I feel like whatever this dick addiction, I almost said dick. Oh, wow. Whatever this addiction is, it has them in this place of being feeling trapped. Like they can't get out of it. Now, on one hand, what's interesting is this this Queen of Pentacles energy here that they think about. They think about this person a hell of a lot, right? What number is this? The Three of Wands. So they think about this person. Hold on. But you're the one that they want. I didn't love them, only love you. You know what's interesting? Does this person have a sex addiction, Libra? Did you did they make you do some strange things in the bedroom or something like that because Remember, I was asking a question, why are they talking about sex, right? This person might have a sex addiction. Maybe you know about it, maybe you don't. Maybe they like it several times a day and you thought it was just you. But this person can have an actual sex addiction, the way that I'm picking up the energy and stuff, Libra. Yeah, because it's like they've had multiple people. For some reason, I get this real strong. Like, it's, it's like some type of addiction they have that makes them, like, need multiple people. You know, I feel like this person has tried to get help for it, but they, they don't know how to just be like a single person. They feel like they got to have multiple people, so they keep multiple people hanging around, okay? But one thing they are saying is they don't love, they didn't love them. There go that them. Like, I didn't love her. It could have been, I didn't love her, or I didn't love him, love him. It says, I didn't love them. I only love you. Your person's dealing with some type of sex addiction or something. I'm picking it up real heavy. Something goes on deeper with the opposite sex than you know. For some, I ain't going there. You have no idea where I was going with that one. I was going to say, for some of you, it could be the same sex. But that's neither here nor there. So, um, for your person, I'm going to my, um, Divine Masculine Real Talk Oracles, because, uh, I want to see what the hell is going on with this person and this sexual energy. I promise you, that's the first thing I picked up. Like, why are they talking about sex? I have been craving sex with you. Um, how does this person feel about Libra? What does Libra need to know, please? What does Libra need to know, please? How does this person feel about Libra, please? How does this person feel about Libra? Oh, oh, that's that Virgo energy, please. I mean, that's that Virgo energy. See what I'm saying? Like, this person, the brain is a little cloudy because they're missing you. Yeah. Let's see. Huh? What does Libra need to know about this person? I didn't love them, only love you, my true love. Yeah, 
They only love you, Libra. Dang, my nails are breaking like crazy. I don't know what happened. All my nails used to be long. I hate when this happens. I'm sorry, Libra. I don't mean to interrupt your reading about my nails, but I mean out of nowhere. Wow. Interesting. Something in their life pissed them off. They wasn't... They were, um... Being a womanizer or manizer, whatever they call a manipulative person, to the opposite sex on purpose. Somebody somebody hurt them or something in the past. Could have been this, this uh, Queen of Pentacles energy. Maybe this Queen of Pentacles... And that's why this person is here. Could have been one of these two people right here. A mother or a baby mama, baby father or something. One of these women hurt them. Could have been both of these women to their core. Okay? It's like they went through this right here. Okay? That's that tower. Right? Like a tower moment. Like, man, fuck that. I'm never going back through that again. This queen of pentacles can also be their baby mama. This this queen of pentacles could also be their mother. They haven't let go of something. Right? Ooh. That's a, they got a lot of secrets. But one of them, Libra, and I don't even think this is a lie. Cuz it's very minimal pentacles on the board. They could be having financial troubles, like for real, for real. I mean, would you want to be around the what person you love if you was broke? You know, love don't pay no bills. But someone who loves you will help you get there. You know? Wow. Okay, so I'm going to my facts, Urban Divine Masculine Truth Deck, because if I was broke, that's how I'll be feeling. Like that man on, on the front of the car is like... <laughs> Well, let's see. How does this person feel about Libra? How does this person feel about Libra, please? Mm. Wow. So if your person's an artist, they wrote a song, produced a movie, um, wrote a poem, some, some artistic. They did in reference to you. You will know exactly what this is if this is your person, Libra. Okay. Let's see. You brighten my world. I love you. You know, after this collapsed energy and this broke energy, this is enough. You know, this for this card to come out, this is enough to brighten a person's world. It's like having someone that loves you or loving someone, but they're torn. Okay, remember I said oh, this person, your person is a very interesting person because they come off as indecisive. So they could be a Gemini energy, but also with this torn energy, I'm torn, unrealized the man that I've become. It, they, I didn't love them, only love you is what they're saying, right? But at the same, same time, they're torn, right? I don't get that one. I don't. Oh, that's why. I never knew a love like this. I'm drowning in emotions. So something about loving you, Libra, has opened that heart chakra baby. And they don't know how to handle it. Okay? This is something new. They ain't never felt this before. You know? Like what they feel for you, Libra. It's like, and what the, what is this? Let me run away until I find out what this is. Let me run. Right? Mm. Let's see. So I'm gonna use my um my twin flames prepared for union deck. Beloved, you get my decks in the SD shop if you want to, Libra. You're definitely there. Okay. How does this person feel about Libra? I'll call you. And hang up. So if you get like those quick calls, like a ring once, but it don't register a number, is this person, or this person calls you from a different number? No one makes me feel like you. 
But once again, this karmic connection is here. I got it. I'm sorry, Libra. Before we proceed forward, I got to see who this is. We got to see who it is. Hold on. Love it. Who is this karmic partner that's showing up? Who is this karmic partner that's showing up? I'm quiet, Libra, because I'm trying to get rid of this song from... I feel like it was from the um, Virgo read, but it's still playing in your read. That um, Lenny... I forget his name. I was going to say Lenny Kravitz. Boy, God knows I love American Woman. I will buy the rights to that song if I could. But it's like an old school song too, so... But, um, um, Lenny Williams... But that I love you. Oh, 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 oh. So I feel like that's your person too coming through. Why is Karmic Partner here, please? Mm. Interesting. Two of Cups. It's a match. Two of Pentacles. The Nine of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. And this is something they're not telling you. Clarify this Two of Cups energy. Who is this karmic partner? Mm. That's a tall ass person. Who is this person? It fell on mother. Is their mother the karmic? Or their baby mama or something? Look. The tower. Ooh. Let's go over here. Because it's the tower and judgment. And the nine of cups. Why, did, why is the tower on this mother over here? The Hermit could be a Virgo, the Page of Swords. They mama want them to be with this person. I was trying to find the link between the two. Okay, oh, I'm so duh, duh. So, your person, Libra. Okay, so this other person could be their child's mother or something like that. They mama want them to like be with this person, right? They don't really like want to be with their baby mama or whatever, their baby father. But the mama like the person. So the person's like cool with their mom. They like hang out. They talk and all that type of stuff. Yeah. She be telling, telling this person they business about you. Look, Page of Pentacles. Eight of Cups, Knight of Wands, the Hermit, and Page of Swords, because she's a single woman. She ain't got, you know how some older women, oh, look at my nails. You know how some older women, they get old and they be telling everybody else business on the phone that they ain't got no business telling or whatnot? This, their child's mother been in jail before and stuff. But yeah, this, this, uh, their mother, Libra, it took me the longest period of time. Man. Their mother liked this person for them. Yeah. But she needs to, man, she needs to stay out of this person's business. This person, a grown-ass person. But, yeah, they, they in cahoots together against maybe your person. Or maybe that's why they ass broke. Um, so the karmic partner, the mama, and the baby mama. I was wondering why it came out twice, but okay. So they want to be with you. You and I can be a power couple. Can you just love me? And everywhere I look, things remind me of you. So this person is all into you, Libra, right? They 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 want to have a life with you. Like they said, they in love you, um, they in love them, they only love you. But uh this person mama all in their motherfucking business. If this person mom don't go sit down somewhere, I'm finna get even more nosier. One second, Libra. Why is this mama? Well, I know why she's all in the business. She ain't got nothing else to do. 
What did she be telling this baby mama about Libra, please? What she be telling this baby mama, baby father about Libra? She be telling this person, Libra. She be telling this person, you a hoe. Hold on. That you be, um... That you be fucking everybody, that you inconsistent, that you don't take care of your kids or take care of your house. Your house ain't never clean. Look, look, look. Look at her. This is her right here. And this is the high priestess card. And got the nerves. And she be she a drinker. She be drinking, talking shit, smoking weed, smoking cigarettes, and going in, Libra. Yeah. She's telling her that you got somebody else in your life. Your baby father your, or something like that. Your baby mother. She telling all your business. Look at that crystal ball in front of her. All your business. Mm. 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 Yeah. Either way, Libra, that's the message I have for you. I thank you so much for tapping into Black Madonna HP's Table Etiquettes. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, love, peace, and so take care.